For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The wages of sin is death, but we do not know when death is coming. Death may even happen today. Death may even happen right here at the Daytona 500. Last few years, there's been accidents into the stands. We don't know when death will knock, but before you die, you need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. To be saved from what? From a place called hell. The love of God is that he sent Jesus Christ that we may have eternal life. That these things are written that you may know you have eternal life. Eternal life is in the Lord Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There is no salvation in any other. But you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. On this day of the Daytona 500, we all hope that our driver will come in first. But the Bible speaks about a greater hope, a blessed hope, the Lord Jesus Christ. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Death is coming and we're not sure when death will happen. It may be even today. And before we die, the Bible speaks about Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? Saved from hell. Jesus Christ said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You cannot trust in religion. You cannot deny God. Because there is a God. And God's love is that he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to suffer and to die for our iniquity. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So let the hope be not only in your driver coming in first, but let your hope be Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Jesus Christ, virgin born. Jesus Christ that is able to save your soul and save your soul today. Religion cannot save you, folks. Only by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ can you be saved. And you got to choose the Jesus Christ before your death. Once you die, that's it. You're dead. The Bible does speak about an afterlife. The afterlife, there's heaven and there's hell. Hell by doing anything you want and not doing anything else at all, but heaven by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Man has a condition, it is going to kill him, it's called sin. And the only condition that, and only ways that remedy for sin is the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world. God's love is that Jesus Christ bore our burden, bore our iniquity, took on our sins upon that cross, suffered and died that we may have life. And the Bible says, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. Don't go to hell, because Jesus can save you from hell. Put your faith and trust in him. The blessed hope. God says, come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. You can be clean before God, but you cannot be clean by using rituals, you cannot be cleaned by religion. You cannot be cleaned by science. The only way you can be cleaned is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Salvation is wrought in no other. John the Baptist said, He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Friends, the wrath of God, the judgment of God is with you not believe on Jesus Christ, you will be cast into the lake of fire which burneth forever. It's described as the second death, and yet there will be no reef. There will be no out of the torments of hell and the lake of fire. There will be no relaxation. 
as you burn forever, as you pay for your own sins for all eternity. And you don't need to. Your sins have already been paid. The check has been waiting for you to sign your name to say, I want the Lord Jesus Christ to cleanse me. I want the Lord Jesus Christ to save my soul, to believe with the heart, to confess with the mouth that Jesus is able to save you. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. For since April 1987, I have received Jesus Christ as my Savior. I am saved by the blood and nothing else. I was Roman Catholic one time. I had Mary. I had the idols. And they're not able to give you peace. They're not able to give you love and joy as the fruits of the Spirit. As you to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. To be a Son of God by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit indwelling you, at that moment you receive Christ to be saved. And not only that, your name to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. When that name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, it will never be erased. It will give you eternal security forever. Behold, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You've got a sin condition. That sin condition is worse than cancer. Because a cancer can be healed by a doctor, but your sin can only be healed by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. It's not something that alcohol can solve. It's not medication. It is the blood of the Lamb without spot. The precious blood. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Else other than that, the wages of sin is death. You know why you're going to die? Well, the many, many, many ways to die, you know why? Because you are a sinner. And when you die in your sins, you will be brought into a place called hell forever. If you be washed of your sins, if you're to put your sins in the atonement of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, you can be saved. And have your name written down all eternity. And the Bible says that death to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Without the Lord Jesus Christ, and he was died, and he was buried, and he woke up in hell. of sin is death. Only Jesus saves. Amen. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You got to call to the fact is that this life is not the only life we have. After this life, there is eternal life. And the Bible speaks about an afterlife after death. It speaks about hell. Hell, you get there any way you want to get there. But to get to heaven, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The Bible says there is one mediator between God and man. That is the man Christ Jesus. There is no other man, there is no other woman that can get you to heaven. There is no other way. Religion is man-made. And yet Jesus Christ is God approved. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That's the love of God. It's Jesus Christ upon Calvary Mountain, where He suffered and died for our sins, according to Isaiah 53. He was bruised for our iniquities. We are sinners, for all have sinned, for all have come short of the glory of God. There is none good. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Don't think you're going to appear before God and say, I'm good. Don't you think you're going to appear before God and say, I'm a Baptist. Don't you think you're going to be before God and say, God will let everybody into his abode. Because that's not true. That's a lie. The only way you have access to the Father is by Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by Jesus Christ. This man can get you tickets into the Daytona 500. Jesus Christ can get you tickets into heaven. Through the blood, through the precious blood, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. We are all born with a sin nature. It came from our grandparents of Adam and Eve. We're all sin. No matter you're young or old, whether you're young, old, male, female, you are a sinner and you need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Saved from what? Hell. 
The very fact is the love of God that He sent His only begotten Son is a remedy for your sin. It is the means of God for you to get to His abode in heaven by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There is no other means but by Jesus Christ. Who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Isaiah 53. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, as a root of a dry ground. He has no form or comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. That's talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. Those pictures that you see of him, that's not him. Jesus Christ is a Jew. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. And yet we esteemed him, stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Jesus Christ has already taken the punishment for sin. Jesus Christ has already taken what needs to be taken for us to be saved and escape out of hell. And yet, if you reject Jesus Christ as your Savior, you will pay for your own sins in a place called hell, and you'll pay for them for all eternity. But if you were to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved, and get your name written in the last book of life, you can have eternal life to be with God, and be with God forever by His Son, Jesus Christ. The gift of God's eternal life, Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ. He that has the Son has life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. Salvation can't be wrought in a church. Salvation cannot be wrought in water. Salvation can't be wrought and there's no God. Salvation cannot be wrought by evolution. The only means of salvation that's approved of God is Jesus Christ, the blessed hope, the only hope. Jesus Christ, he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him. A lot of you people here at the Daytona 500, you are going to hope that your race car driver will come across that checkered flag as a winner of this race. I'm yet to tell you by God in the Bible, there's a better hope. There's a blessed hope. Jesus Christ. And He's coming. And the fact is, when He comes, if you have not believed on Him, if death has come in your life without believing on Jesus, you will not be saved. You will enter in by death. You'll be buried and wake up in the gates of hell, according to the Gospel of Luke. And yet, if you're to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and die, the Bible says to be absent from this body and present with the Lord. There is no re relief, there is no satisfaction ever to be in hell. But the Bible speaks about in heaven, a brand new body. Of never again to shed a tear. Re uh, Revelation chapter 1, 20. Revelation chapter 21 and 22. Never to tear again. No sorrows, no pain, no suffering of sin. No more problems when you enter the gates of New Jerusalem by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And yet the Bible speaks about the torments of hell. Torments, oh, if I can only have relief. There's no party in hell, friend. Alcohol burns. You'll burns be burning. Hot burns hot. Your friends will have nothing to do with you because hell is spoken about as a, a lake of fire that's blackness you won't even see. It won't be a place of party. And yet, the true worship, the true joy is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. One day, death will come creeping upon you, for the wages of sin is death. You know how you know you're a sinner? One day you're going to die. The wages of sin is death. 
You cannot say, I've never sinned, I never will sin, because you're going to die. The day that you die, that marks you as a sinner. And if you die in your sins, you will burn, and you will burn for all eternity. But the love of God is, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Now, whosoever believes in Him, whosoever believes in Him, shall have everlasting life. And you shall not perish believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Your faith and your hope is to be put upon the only one that suffered and died, Jesus Christ. Only Jesus saves. There is no salvation in anything else but Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. That whosoever believes in him is the first person. All you fans here are hoping that your driver in your car will be the first one to cross that checkered flag. Your hope for your driver winning today's race is a and yet there's a greater hope. There's a blessed hope spoken about in the Bible. Jesus Christ, the blessed hope. There is no, there is no other salvation, other man, and no man, but Jesus Christ. For there's one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. It's not a woman. It's not a statue. It's not an idol. It's not even religion. There'll be no Catholic, no Baptist in heaven. Only born-again, Bible-believing, new-birth Christians by the shed blood of Jesus Christ are you able to enter into heaven. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The wages of sin is death. Death can come today, folks. Oh, we're all happy. There's our big race day. And we're going to watch a bunch of men make left hand turns. And yet today, death can come. I'm telling you, unlike NASCAR, I'm telling you to make a right hand turn to God, to His Son, Jesus Christ, to be saved. The blessed hope, the glorious hope. And the fact is that Jesus is coming. Jesus knows that those that are His by their names written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Religion does not put your name in that book. Religion gets you into hell. Religion gets you a ticket into eternal torment. But Jesus Christ will get you absent from the body and present with the Lord. As much as we want to see today a bunch of men go left, we're here to tell you how to go right. Right by Jesus Christ, the righteousness of Jesus Christ. It's so funny, the fact is that, oh, we're Christians. I've got a Bible over here. You can open that Bible and show me how you're Because these things are written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. The Gospel of John is written that you may obtain salvation. Salvation through Jesus Christ, our Lord. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life. Eternal life can be run right now today before your driver even starts that race. Even before that driver hits the checkered flag. You can have that blessed hope. You can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ with your heart. And you can confess with your mouth that Jesus is able to save your soul today. And any other things will not matter. You get today your name written down in Lamb's Book of Life and then all glory. But do not, do not die without Jesus Christ. Do not trust religion. Do not trust Satan. He will deceive you. Satan's job is to take the glory away from God, to take your righteousness. Then there is no righteousness, for the Bible says for all have sinned. All have come short of the glory of God. Thank you very much, sir. There is none that doeth good, the Bible says. So don't think you're going to approach up to God and say, oh, I'm good. The Bible says you already have not done good enough. 
The Bible of Henry has said, you have said, they come short of the glory of God. And the only way to come full way to God is through Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's the Bible. Below the Bible Belt of America, the Bible says you need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You say, preacher, I don't want to hear that. Get out of here. Well, I don't want to hear your NASCAR in my bedroom. I got to sit there going and junk all day. Well, I'll give you the gospel which is blessed, which is glorious, which is wonderful, which can give you eternal life. Well, the NASCAR can give you tomorrow. They'll give you absolutely nothing. You're not going to meet your favorite driver, but you have the opportunity to meet God, the Creator, God, the Savior. You be asking from the body, present for the Lord. The fact is that Jesus is coming again. You can meet God, the Creator, one day on His good side. And yet, if you try to meet God, Creator, in your righteousness, you will meet Him at the great white throne judgment, and you will be condemned. That your name will not be found written in the book of man's book of life. And when your name is not in the last book of life, you will be cast off into the lake of fire which burneth forever and ever. 